a very effective knee bar from a very common position. You're down. We did this yesterday, last night, except I'm going to show you how to really do it the way it works. Okay, because some things work in theory, some techniques, you know, most techniques work in reality. Okay, so as I'm here and I want to start passing here, okay, as I teach you guys here, here, and slide that knee through, okay. Oftentimes they'll push that knee off to the side and they'll clamp your foot here, okay? From here, I'm gonna back step, okay? But if you notice, my knee's off the mat, it's on his leg, and my hip is on his hip. I wanna be able to turn and still have balance. I don't wanna fall forward, I don't wanna fall backward, okay? You can balance yourself here, here if you need it. Sometimes I put my hand down here. Never do I put it here because I have to go here. So if anything, instead of putting it here, give him that little side yarmulke business right there. Okay, right there. That'll that'll help him stay motivated and uh, you know be down there. Okay, and you or here, here, or even here is a good one right here, where you back step and your left hand grabs their bottom shin towards the upper part of the shin. Preferably where the patella is. My right hand goes here. and I see how I can't reach anymore. So I'm gonna start lowering myself down. I'll do it from different angles. I'm doing it from different angles so that my right knee goes past his knee line and I get here. And my right hand goes to his foot right here as my left hand is controlling his leg. Okay. His what's this? Your left? Yeah, left. Yes. Okay. From here, I'm gonna roll him. Because what I need to do here is pull this leg here, and I need to split everything here. This is a control where I can push, pull, okay? But I need to get him to roll to my left side, okay? And my knees do a lot of the rolling here. So that right about here, I can push this down here, lock it here, and now we're here and I still have control of the heel and I can go here. I also get here. So this is the figure eight knee bar. From here you have toe holds here, but whatever you do, you grab the heel because it prevents him from changing the direction which way the foot breaks. But he can rotate it, like rotate it left, rotate it right, okay? That's about it. It breaks in the direction of the toe so if his toes are pointed to me, obviously, here's the break right here. Oh, you head that way. If he somehow got him pointed that way, I can easily grab here and then begin to create that. Or, or even here, I'll push it that way. You have right, which is the body leg, and then the left, you right over left, you can keep your hand here, but this is so tight right here, I know he can't bring it over, okay? Because the only real way for him to change the angle of his foot is if this were loose, and he slowly brings this knee, yeah, use your left hand on the knee and push it off right there. So now he turns that, and now I don't have a knee bar because it's bending the wrong way. And even if I try to bend it this way, he keeps calling and turning the foot, and it's you're gonna lose it. So now, and then you go into a subsequent attack, because from here you have, a saddle, okay? So now let's, once again, yes, okay, so very important is you're here, you push it in here, look, one, two, three. This hand, okay, I want it to ultimately wind up on his foot and this one behind his knee at first. So you're here, right? And I want this knee to go that way. So I'm gonna go here. You see how I actually caught that knee? But you don't because I have the shitty angle again. So as I'm here now, grab the heel and pull. I can roll them left and I can push this towards my left knee because I need to bring my left to go trap it. If for whatever reason he keeps this, keeps this straight and he doesn't want it to bend, I'm gonna roll him this way here. Because at some point, that knee will have to bend. It's very difficult for him to roll 
from side to side without bending the knee. Yeah. Okay. So you have that now. Let me see if I can figure out a better angle. Go this way. This is your old angle. I just said that one. So here, here. Here, here, and now watch my right leg. Right there, because technically from here, you have a knee bar also. The problem is, is that he can rotate the foot and change the angle. So what I want is, I want to get here, here, because this is the leg I want to control. And then I want to go right like this, Catch this one here and reach for this foot right here. My left hand grabs the heel and brings it to my left side. Because now, let's just say for purposes of drilling this technique, I need to catch this foot with this leg here. It's difficult to do it on your back. Because if I'm here, his leg won't bend that way. I won't be able to do this, and all that's gonna happen is he's gonna pull his knee out. So I need to keep rolling him from side to side. How I do that, I begin to rotate my hips and rotate his heel. See how he rolls? And see how he bent his knee? Because he's pushing off his left knee. So he, and I'm pulling it this way, okay? So I'm straightening it. Whenever you straighten it, they usually wanna bend it, okay? But I want him to bend it. So as he bends it, I can bend it for him, okay? So as we're here, okay, this helps me lift my hips and rotate the hips. Yes, and here, see he's bending it and I'm gonna push it to my left leg and I'm gonna lock it. I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna unlock it. I'm gonna go this way here and see how I can push it towards my left foot because I wanna bring my left leg over where the knee is so that his foot He's behind my knee. I don't want to do this. This right here. Okay, because you could hurt the other person here. So you're just basically going to bend your side here. And it's your right leg that helps your left leg come up. Okay? And now you're here. This right here. Right over left. Now from here, because we're so deep, you have a knee bar here. And as Bernie calls this, the camel toe. Ooh, that sucks. Okay. I, see, that, that, that's what helps with having a medical professional here. I said, look, Bernie, I can grab right here. And he goes, no, you just grab it with one hand, and then you just twist it that way. And then, you know, I'm like, man, this, this guy's a doctor. He knows the anatomy. You know what I mean? Okay. So, you're going to wind up in this position here. This and this. The reason why you need to control this right here is because if I just went for this knee bar here, he's not gonna lay there. He's gonna slither that leg under and he'll turn turn to your back and then you wind up in a 50-50. You could use it as an ankle lock setup, which we'll cover at another time, but you don't wanna do that. So you need to control it. So how do we have that way? Get ahead of the camera. I have a question on the entry. Yes. When you relieve pressure, is it when you get your, when you dive to your shoulder, is it after the knee is through or while you're putting the knee through? When you say relieve pressure, what pressure do you mean? Pressure, like you're sitting on his hip. Well, I need to slide off. So right, I right. need to be able to be loose enough to slide off and to be able to move and so the friction doesn't restrict me. And I also can't be too loose so he doesn't pull his limbs out. That's a finite. The Goldilocks of. The butterfly movement. holding it without, you know, where you're holding it tight enough where you don't squeeze too hard and shred its wings, but you're not too loose. I think that works. Just gain up as it is. Butterflies. Here, what's next? Rash guard that says, make Jiu Jitsu gay again, right? <laughs> <laughs> so here, look. Here, right through here, here, now here, okay? If 
I pull this too tight, my right leg won't be able to get through. I just need to control it here. Okay. So look, I want to get this here. My left hand is hooking his leg and I want my right hand here. Okay, so now we're here. I don't care really if he bends his, what's this, your right leg? Left, left, leg, right. left leg, if he bends it, it's fine. As long as he doesn't cross him over the other way. This is the way that I want to make sure his feet stay because he can't cross them back over, okay? Because if he crosses them this way, I want this one under. So I need, yes, so here. So this is a wedge that prevents him from recrossing it the other way. Try to cross it the other way. See how I can keep it there? And then I can keep this here, and I can keep this here. So now, look, bring this elbow up. He thinks it may be a knee bar, but it's not. All I'm doing is just controlling. I'm gonna roll to my left, look. You see this right here? I can't move my hip. I create downward pressure here. My hip can rotate. Yes. Here, and I push this foot to my left leg, lock it, and finish. Unlock it here, and I'm gonna now roll to the right. And that's here, look. Clamp, and this leg comes up. Don't lock your foot, your own hand here. I've done it before where it gets stuck, but it's okay because you can still finish the knee bar even if your hand gets stuck. So what you want to do is you want to guide it. I like to use on the foot because here they can still kind of pull their toes back and rotate. They have more power than here. Okay? Yeah, so here, go here, lock it, finish it, and just keep it here and finish. The whole goal is to be able to roll them from your right side, I'm gonna roll to the left side. Yeah, it, look, I can't move my hip unless I create pressure here and the hip comes up. And I turn the hip and this hand turns his foot, he'll roll to the other side. Let's see how I can lock that foot there. I let it go, recross my feet, start rolling the other, so I can a kite. Here, look. See how I, can push this leg down and bring this leg up. If I have this leg dangling, look at it. I can't lift, lift this leg, that's about as high as I can lift it. If I do this, it's almost like engaging the hip. Lock here, this stays, finish. You're gonna get fancy, elbow back to control the rotation of his foot, okay? So let's. Side yarmulke, whatever, or here, or here. I don't like this because they'll grab your arm. So it's better to go here. Because all I want is this left hand, grab the bottom shin, right hand here. And the more I fall to my side, the more my right hand reaches, reaches, reaches here. And now I cross. Bring this up so that my hand can go to the heel. Yes, right there. See, to make him rotate or turn I pull this but I'm also gonna move my hips too because he thinks it's a knee bar because here it technically is a knee bar but he'll yeah he'll roll and look here lock it right there okay did I even set up it's fun here lock it and it's a done deal unlock it so you understand how it's working Cross your feet, move this one out. Here. See, it didn't go as far as I wanted to, and now we're good, and finish. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go from right side to left side, right side to left side, and right about here, because you're pulling it straight, he's gonna wanna bend it, turn. Yeah, right about here, I push it. Cross. If you don't cross, you pull this leg out. I go here. Right. And again. 
your cross. Even keep your hand there. Who cares? Okay. Just keep your hand on the foot. Cross your foot over. What are they gonna do? It's a tap. All right. Let's try. It. One, two, three. This is the way that it works. But this is the way for you to have these two controls to understand 